Hi, this is the general daily reading for today. The I only have three orders coming out that are going to come out later. Okay, so the rest are completed and done. And if you are interested in a private reading, then you can purchase one. The information is in my description box. Okay. So let's get some messages. Messages for the feminine energies first. Messages for the feminine energies first. Messages for the feminine energies from masculine energies they're connected to. Whoa. And something told me, or from feminine energies. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I couldn't let you get close to me. So many things remind me of you. We will be together again. Okay. Messages for the... F oh, shoot. I got a... <laughs> messages for the feminine energies. I got to do the masculine. I don't know why I put that back. Messages for the feminine energies. I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> messages for the feminine energies. I am not coming back. I never want to feel that way again. Oof. I do wish you well. I'm waiting for an apology. I hope you're happy for me. This deck is very feisty. These energies that come out in this deck is... <laughs> okay. Messages for the masculine energies. Messages for the masculine energies. Messages for the masculine energies. I wish I could share my good news with you. I know that I crossed the line with you. Finding out the truth crushed me. I'm starting to understand our connection. Messages for the masculine energies. Oof. There's a masculine here that's not in a good headspace. Mm -mm. Not in a good headspace or is around very negative energy because I just felt dizzy. When I feel dizzy like that and feel like somebody knocked me outside my head, that means that there is very negative, like, um, dark, dark energy around this person. Okay. Wow. Seriously? This person's not in a good headspace. I'm waiting for an apology. Or this... Um, it could be the masculine, but it also could be the feminine, okay? I'm waiting for an apology because this is the message from the feminine energy. Oof. I know we have a soul connection. I am not coming back. Wow. This is for the masculine, okay? Leaving you hurt me too. You're so easy to see through. I'm sorry. I don't need your approval. I wish you would come back. I fear that you will reject me. You are not part of my plan. And they are also waiting for an apology. Wow, it does. They wanted to say a lot. Okay. What does the uh, feminine need to focus on today? What does the feminine... Whoa. What does the feminine need to focus on today? The feminine energies. Exploring wildness again. Exploring wildness. Werewolf. 
intuition. So exploring your wildness and your intuition you need to focus on today. <clears throat> what does the masculine energy need to focus on? Oh, here we go with the masculine energy being stuck. <laughs> what does the, oh Lord, what does the masculine energy need to focus on today? What does the masculine energy need to focus on today? Probably strength, because I had to have some strength. Death. Lady de los muertos, so lady of the dead and death. That's, okay. So, lady of the dead and death. So, acceptance and equality is what you need to be focused on today. And the eternal cycle begins here. So, ending something, ending something. I feel like you're, this particular masculine is going through a change, a transformation, and something is ending and, so, and something new is beginning, and that's what acceptance and equality is meaning here for this particular masculine energy. Accepting that something is over, okay, but accepting that you two were equal in some capacity or are equal. It's weird because Lady of the Dead and Death, that's very crazy. It's like she is the Lady of the Dead and then you're supposed to focus on her in death. So the Lady that in, is igniting the change and the change. So a catalyst here. Wow. There we go. Always something crazy with these cards. These cards are always speaking. Okay. Speaking truth. Messages for the feminine energies. Messages for the feminine energies. Messages for the feminine energies today. You are healing DNA and clearing ancestral karma in your family line. Spiritual contracts attracting your soul family. Past life gifts, abilities, and skills are awakening. It's easy to focus on the bad. You need to redirect your energy. Redirect your energy and start focusing on the good, on the positive. Messages for the masculine energies. Messages for the masculine energies. Messages for the masculine energies. Trust in divine timing. Our meeting was not random. Oh, shit. I am overcoming my fears. Okay. We will be together again. I am more spiritual because of you. I'm going through a spiritual awakening. I just can't walk away. All the signs point to you. Okay, this person is very strong. <laughs> Their energy is, woo! Messages for the feminine energies. Messages for the feminine energies. Parasitic symbiotic. So one party benefits while the other is depleted. Support and empathy are not equal. This connection has the potential for sacred tantric alchemy, sacred sexuality. Deception. Someone is not being honest or is withholding information. Reflect. You attract soulmates, 
based on the lessons you need for growth? Is this hindering or supporting you? What is the deception? Clarify deception for the feminine. You've had many past lives together, past life soulmate. So there is someone who's a past life soulmate that you were not being honest with or you're withholding information from this person. Messages for the masculine. Messages for the masculine. Messages for the masculine. One party benefits while the other is depleted. Same thing. Wow, are you serious? I feel like you have two different people. Mutual symbiotic. So there's a masculine energy here that has two people. One's a parasite, one's a balanced connection. Had to scratch my foot, guys. Spiritual mission. The one that you have a balanced connection with, this is a spiritual mission. This this connection supports energy healing on Gaia because you are twin flames. Completion. Why is completion here? I feel like you have, uh, what they're saying is you have completed a cycle with this person. This was a karmic cycle. This is done. This is over. This is ended. You are going into a new cycle with this person. Okay. It's like you graduated. Congratulations. Now time for a harder course, okay? So there's been something that has been learned about this connection. A return of passions in play community is healing, laughter, travel, new things can re-spark your love life. So I think that now you're kind of whoo, at ease. You're going to be going, maybe traveling, having some fun now, okay? So we need clarity over this parasitic symbiotic. Clarity. Red flag. Tune into the subtle energy you're receiving about this situation. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your gut and your intuition. So there's a masculine energy here. I feel like you already know who the parasitic symbiotic person is. You've already had red flags on this person. You already can feel the energy of this person. You know something's not right. You're like, mm, something just is not right about this person. Yeah, because it's not. Mutual symbiotic. We need um, clarity over this. The mutual symbiotic. Clarity, please. This card obviously wants to come out. Guilt. You have guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words that are hindering this situation with this specific connection. They want you to do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into this connection. Okay? You need to trust and divine in the divine plan at this time, regardless of what this situation looks like, regardless of what this connection relationship looks like, you need to trust in the divine plan. You, I feel like, are not expressing how you truly feel. Repression. Okay. Wow. I knew it. Stalemate. Because you're repressing how you feel, this has caused a stalemate. A stalemate. You have control issues that you need to work through, and right now you need to take this time to clear, clear your energy and bring some clarity to your thoughts. You are telepathically connected to this person. You have a strong empathic and telepathic soul bond. Um, how does he? How does he? How does this masculine energy feel about this soul bond and telepathic empathic bond? They think a lot about it. It says, get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. <laughs> Divine intervention. <laughs> Divine intervention. New love. Addictions. Yeah. Okay. There is a new phase in this relationship that is beginning. Remember I said something completed, a new phase is beginning? Yes. This person does have addictions, okay, of some sort here. You are in separation from this person at this time, but you can always tune into this person, right? Mentally, emotionally, spiritually. All right. Now we're going to move on to the last 
deck. Um, what we need to focus on today. All right. Okay, so what does the feminine energies need to focus on at this time? What does the feminine energies need to focus on at this time? The feminine energies. What does the feminine energies need to focus on? Family, home, and commitment and having the courage to change this. Because this is a toxic pattern. So the feminine energies right now, I feel like some of the feminine energies here are connected to um, a toxic partner who they could have a family home or commitment with. You have to have the courage to change this, okay? Either this whole person is toxic or the patterns that you are engaging in with this person are toxic, okay? There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. There's a lot of triggers and conflict in this marriage, in this relationship. And there's cycles that need to be completed. Okay? So some people completed cycles. Some people are not quite there yet. Okay? That's what you need to focus on today. Messages for the masculine energies. Messages for the masculine energies. And make no mistake, when I say toxic, this could be females that are toxic, okay? It's not always the men. It could be some feminines here that are toxic, okay? So I just wanted, they wanted me to clarify that. This is, you know who you are, okay? All right, so messages for, what does the masculine energies need to focus on at this time? Masculine energies. Third party. Oof. Okay, there's a masculine here who is, um, there's a masculine here who, oof, yeah, okay. There's a masculine here, and this card I feel like comes out when we're talking about a male. So you know there's somebody here that watches that's like, mm, yeah, but this may not be me, right? You may be in denial. This is a man. There, this is either one or two men that always do that in my readings. I, f I know that. They tell me that. I feel like it's males that watch this and they're like, she could be think talking about someone else, not me. No, it's you. If you're a male, it's you. Okay. So this is someone who has a third party who is now at a decision. They're at a crossroads and they need to make a decision. Okay. You've had a lot of disharmony and triggers that keep coming up because you're not taking the leap of faith that you're supposed to take. Okay. You are attached to someone here who you have a hot attraction to, but you've been acting very cold towards because of a third party. You need, you want to go into union with this person, but you're not expressing your truth. Okay. That's it. You're not expressing your truth. Clarity around what this freedom opportunity is. Your ancestors are trying to guide you. You are in separation from this person. Okay. This person could be messaging you or you may want to talk to them about something here. This is about... Um, them in the present. You're watching them. You could be watching this person in social media or in person. You're watching this person. This person is very grateful, abundant. They're really living their life. They're creating their stability, harmony, and flow. But there's some kind of deception. What is this deception, temptation? What is this? I feel like you're watching them do their thing. And you're... You feel, ooh, okay. You're watching them... But you don't believe that they're being honest. That's what I'm getting. 
you don't believe that they're honest about what they say or their their life that they're living. And I feel like that's because you're projecting your own feelings onto them. Because you're the one over here with the third party and being at the crossroads, but yet you're watching them spying on them and you're like, they're not being honest because you're not being honest. So you think they're doing the same thing, but they're not. They are living their truth. Um, and I feel like a part of you knows that because you have guilt. You keep thinking about this person. You keep replaying maybe things that have, have happened and you're like, I sabotage that relationship. But there's some healing here that you need to focus on. Not on all of this. You need to focus on your own healing. Okay? Your own healing. Yeah, see? You need to take care of yourself. You need to stop worried about this other people's other person. Stop watching this other person and watch yourself and focus on yourself here. Okay? You have control issues, and the spirit guides are trying to help you with that, okay? Could be a fire sign who's trying to help you, okay? Trying to help you see something about yourself. This fire sign could be trying to help you see that you have controlling issues, okay? Control issues. And this is going to be the breakthrough. When you finally see it, this is going to be the breakthrough you need to see. And it's going to be like, yes, growth, twin flame. Why is twin flame here? You've been guarded. Um, this could be a water sign here. That is your twin. You could be guarded um, because of some things that happened in the past. Okay in regards to this water sign, okay, or this water sign could have some regret, okay, or you could be a water sign, yeah, so you need to change that, have the courage to change that, you could be going through that change in winter, okay, and you're going to be very nurturing and compassionate after that, okay, towards this person that you're spying on, okay, that you feel like, oh, like, I feel like you have negative feelings towards this person. I feel like you're going to come out around winter time and you're going to feel very compassionate towards this person. Your feelings are going to change. So that means to me that you're going to have some, you're going to forgive this person for something here, okay? Normally when we're angry for someone, it's angry at someone for something, it's because it, you haven't forgiven them. I feel like that is going to change. All right. I hope this helped and I will see you in the morning.